Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a playpen from Angel Bliss. So we're gonna be uh, unboxing that and putting it together today for baby boy Ace. And we're gonna kind of give you a short review of what we think about it. And then later on, we'll upload another video of a more in-depth review after being with it for a little while and seeing how he interacts and hangs out in his new playpen. All right guys, so let's get into it. All right guys, so this is um, what you get in the box. This is the main mesh walls um, that go all the way around. Um, so that way, you know, if they fall against it or anything, they can still breathe. If they're laying against it, they won't hurt themselves, stuff like that, safety first. Then you got all the pipe connectors. They are plastic. Kind of looks like a like a kitty tent um, setup. How they come. So then these are your connectors. Some of them have um, suction cups to stay in place. <laughs> and here, not sure what this piece is yet, but we'll see when we open it up. And then all your uh, rods. Make sure you take note on the metal rods. There are different sizes. So this one's 895, I would assume millimeters. You have 745 millimeters. And 620 millimeters. So we're gonna do what we like to do here and read the instructions. That's right. So you kind of see here what it looks like, a little before picture, and then we'll show you later on when it's fully built. We'll also make sure um, to put a link to it in the description below, so make sure you check it out. It's from Amazon, just like a lot of things. And we'll also um, put a link to this mat, if we can still find it, we got it at Sam's Club. It came in a configuration of Two by one, two, three, four, five. Mm -mm. Oh, four? Two by four? It's nine tiles. Yeah, it's nine tiles. Two by four. <laughs> <laughs> made to make a rectangle, but um, we made it into a square, so you'll see a slot missing here. So we just put his play mat. Eight tiles. Oh, eight tiles. I'm sorry. It came with eight tiles. Yeah. I said nine. Yeah. Two by four. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> And then there's a spot missing here, but we have his play, little play mat to fit that spot. And then what our goal is, is hopefully this will fit right over it and be a cushion for the bottom. Mm -hmm. Because what it is essentially is a giant play pen. Same concept, the bottom is kind of like a, a material that you know he can't get through. And that's why we got it. We, we didn't want him to be able to stand up and move it on his own. So hopefully that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna stay in it, not be able to move it everywhere and um, still be safe and have a fun play area. Okay, so the first step is you're gonna insert the pipe into the fence cover and use straight pipe to dock, then tie the four corners to the suction cup T. So um, I have no idea what that means. And I'm sure you probably won't either, so let's figure this out. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've gone ahead and organized all the pieces into their separate um, groups. So you have here the suction cup bottoms. So those are all obviously gonna be on the bottom. Then you have these angled pieces, which we assume is for the tops. And then you have the T pieces, which will be you know connecting, going left and right, and then vertical. Um, and then we kept all the rods, you know, I just ripped open the bags and kept them there so I know which size is which easily so I don't have to figure it out as I'm going along. So um, let's see what we're gonna do here. They want you to insert the pipe into the fence cover and use the straight pipe to dock, so to keep it in place, then tie the four corners to the suction cup T. Okay, so I'm assuming the um, fence cover. Yes. Yeah, so this is the fence cover right here. Your litter and the assembly. Pretty much. And then the other thing we saw earlier was a travel bag. 
So if you want to disassemble it and let's say you're going over, you know, to the weekend to spend with your family or something and you want to make sure your kid's got a spot, you take it all apart, I'm assuming, and then roll it up and put it in the travel bag. And you got happy baby, happy mommy. Trying to figure out which side is top, which side is bottom. Okay guys, so we just kind of laid out the thing to figure out which side's right side up, upside down, inside out. Yes, exactly. So, easiest way, logo goes on the outside, so when it lifts up, you'll be able to see it. And then also, for a secondary tail, zipper will face out towards the parent. So, that way you can open and close. So when they're older, you can leave it open, they can go in and out as they please. So, and the zippers are the zippers to uh, the little openings yes. of the playpen. The little archway openings. Yes. And then, looking at the instructions, I figured out that the 895 tubes, the longer ones, they're for the long edge of the rectangle. So the playpen's in a rectangle shape. And the 745s are for the short ends. So you have two on the bottom, two on the top. And then your 620s are your straight tubes so they go up and down and that's how it goes so just so you know we were trying to put this together and we figured out that on the poles there's certain sides that connect to whatever connector piece so on the pole there's a piece that has like the little push tab i don't know what you call that and then on the other side it doesn't have anything so just make sure when you're connecting them as you can see the one with the suction cup it has a place for the push to go through to fasten it to so this is the one that obviously connect in here like so and then on the other side you have these t-shapes which as you can see don't have any of those push pin connectors so those would be the ones that connect on the other side so make sure you connect the right pieces so it's, it's fairly simple um we'll probably just go ahead and do a time lapse of it so that way you don't have to sit here forever watching me put it together and um, we'll get it done. Let's go. All right guys, so update. Here's where we are. Uh, the time lapse is going on in the background. Um, we mistaken which side was the long side and the short side. So this side, we didn't realize was the short side. So the 745s are gonna go on the bottom and the top there. And then on this side, the long side, the eight, uh, 895s are gonna go there and then still the 620s, I believe the 620, go all the way around as your um, standing tubes. Um, so yeah, this is where we are so far. Uh, I don't think we've found any kind of issues. It's been pretty straightforward and so let's uh, continue going. Okay, so the top is a little bit different than the bottom because they don't have the stitched um, loops. So what it is, you're gonna put the, obviously we're on the long side, so the eights, you're gonna put it in. Make sure you hear that little click. And then you're gonna put the other piece into your T. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna wrap around like this. And if you wanna come around to this side, There's a zipper right here that's gonna go in. It's always a zipper, you guys. <laughs> and then you can zip it. And then you have your Velcro piece, which will come around and cover there. After the other pole is yeah. inserted. So you'll do the other side, same thing. Except this side doesn't have a zipper piece. Only this one, this one, that one, and probably that one. So every, seems like every other, every other piece has a zipper. And then you should be done. So let's put on the rest of the rods. You'll see the rest in the time lapse and then we'll come back at the end and uh, kind of position it and you'll see it in play. All right guys, here you have it. This is the playpen, as you can tell. 
I'm a guy of shorter stature, so I'm <laughs> I'm only excuse my wife, she almost Sorry, died. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she almost fell. So I'm about 5'2 in height, and you can see it is it's more than enough space in here for um, one baby, let alone maybe two or three, maybe even four babies, you know, just hanging out, crawling around. Um, so there were a couple pieces that came with it. So you see these, if you don't use them, you did the right thing. This is because these are replacements for the tubes in case the uh, pins break or maybe they didn't come with one or anything. You go ahead and put this back in the tube, slip it in there, and that'll become your pin. And there's also an extra, um, we'll just call it L connector suction cup. Maybe if one of the suction cups are bad or, um, you know, just something goes faulty with it, you have a replacement piece. And plus it's for babies, you never know what they do to them. So it's cool that they included this. And um, we're gonna go ahead, I mean, we placed it down. It fit perfectly in the area. Um, it's nice and soft down here, as you can tell. You know, it is just like a playpen. It has just like a, 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 like a cloth on the bottom and then mesh all the way around and it's perfect for the baby. So we're excited to use it. Um, look forward for another video about a review and we're gonna put Ace in there one time now. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you wanna see more content, subscribe. If you don't wanna miss anything, hit the bell and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.